Hello, Alex from LearnBeachVolleyFast.com here. So here in the near future, I'm gonna make a few videos about beach volleyball spiking that are gonna build on top of each other. A little bit like the hand sitting series I did before. Maybe not not as in depth, but but still something that continues. And uh, this is basically video number one in that series. Okay, so this series is basically gonna be about how and why to hit the ball early from when you leave the ground. Basically, hit the ball fast. Uh, this is an explanation I've seen in a few places. If you think of your jump as this sort of thing, like here you leave the ground, here you land, and then you have the apex here. Uh, basically, we are all thinking that we should hit the ball at our highest, like here. Uh, but the problem is that if we aim and try to hit it there quite often, there's a little delay, a little lag in our arm swing, which actually makes us hit here. So basically we jump, reach the apex, fall down, and then we hit. Uh, I'm sure you have seen this uh, if you have watched beach volleyball players hit balls before. Okay, and apparently that was all that my fully charged battery for the other camera was able to handle. So let's continue on this camera. Anyway, the solution to this is not the simplest. There is a simple way to describe it, which which is this. Basically, you, you jump and you think as if you're going to hit here. And that's actually, in reality, going to mean that with the lag, the delay, you're going to hit here. Or maybe even slightly before the apex. Okay, so that's the easy way to explain how to basically do what we want to do. But the problem is that when most people hear this description, it makes sense, but they still can't do it. So we're going to talk more about how to do it in a next video in this series. And in this video, I'm actually going to explain why this is important. And once you understand why, then you will want to watch the other videos. Uh, no, but in, in short, it's basically this hitting technique change, this tempo change of hitting on your way up. It will help with your vision and it will help you get to the ball. And here's why. So if you think about it, if you, we think of the timeline, basically this is start of time and this is forward in time. There's going to be a point where we basically start our approach and then there's going to be a point where we jump and there's going to be a point when we hit the ball and then there's going to be a point when we land. Uh, the thing is that if we, so let's, let's keep it simple. Let's keep it as the start of the approach, the jump and hitting the ball, because that's basically what we're focusing on right now. I'll even delete this so that it's very simple. Uh, so if we have a technique that then takes a lot of time in the air with our arm swing before we're able to hit the ball, that basically means that we start our approach, we jump and then we fly for quite a while and then we hit the ball. Uh, but if the set is basically a ball going up and down, it doesn't care about what you are doing. So in a way, these two points are actually going to be at the same spot in the same timeline. So actually I need to do this like this, the hitting is in the same place and here's the jump. So what does this mean? If you have to jump earlier to be able to hit there, there's basically a bigger space of time in between you leaving the ground and you hitting the ball. And the more time there is, basically up to this point, you can decide where you move with your body. You can adapt to the ball. You can go different places. But once you leave the ground, you're not going to be like, hey, I need to move to the right and then jump anymore. <laughs> and basically, there's wind, there's all sorts of stuff in beach volleyball, which can move the ball. So the, f the longer it takes for you to hit the ball from your leaving ground, the more possibilities the ball has to move, etc, etc, etc. So sometimes people say, I need to get better at getting to the ball, I need to get better at getting at the ball, I need to get better at reading the set, whatnot, whatnot, whatnot. But it's actually not about that. 
It's about having a technique that takes so long that it's impossible to do that. I hope that makes sense. Now, the second thing that a lot of people want is they want to be able to see better. They want to be see be able to see better when they attack. They want to see better in their peripheral what the opponents are doing so that they know where they can shoot, etc. And some people want to learn the, the head nod uh, look in the middle of the approach. Uh, basically, some people take their steps and at the last two steps, their head goes down and they see the court and then they jump up, find the ball again, and then they hit where they know there's no defender. Why does this become easier with this technique, with the quick technique? Basically, if we do it this way, here's a court, here's the net. So this is Super Mario 2D. Uh, basically, ball is served, comes to, to, to you. Uh, one second. Okay, now, so if this is you hitting and this is the net and your partner is setting a ball, that's basically coming, it's going up and then it's coming down, down, down. What it means that you are able to jump later before you have to hit the ball means that actually the ball has gotten further down physically before you leave the ground. And what does that mean for you here in the middle of your approach? Your eyes, if you use this technique where you have to jump early because your arm swing takes so much time, that basically means that you have to look up there to see the ball and you have to look down there to see the opponents. It's a very wide range of vision that you need to have. But if you are able to wait longer before you jump, that means the ball is further down and all of a sudden the range is not even close to as big. Which makes it easier for you to see the ball both in the peripheral, in the air as you're hitting, but also if you decide to, to learn the, the head nod technique where you look in your approach, it's, it also means that in your approach the ball is going to be further down, which means that your head nod is not going to have to go all the way from there to all the way from down there and then all the way up again. It's actually going to be like there to there to there, which is much easier. All right, that was basically it. This was kind of theoretical. We will get more practical in the, in the following videos. But basically what I think is that a lot of people say that they want, need to get better at getting to the ball and they say that they need to see the opponent's court better. But I'm actually going to argue that I think very often it's about an arm swing technique that takes so long time that you don't have time to do it before, basically at the apex or slightly before. So a lot of people hit down here and that takes time and etc. Okay, you get it. Let's continue in the next video, so make sure to subscribe, make sure to like this video and uh, write some comments if there's any questions and uh, we'll talk more about this stuff later on how to make it happen. Oh yeah, one last thing. So all the videos will be put into a playlist that will, will be Beach Volleyball Spiking or something on my channel. I will also put the links into the continuing videos in the description below and if you're lucky there might be something here. To the next video as well when it's done all right see you there